Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Dave TV for the um, 21st of July, June. It feels like July. It's hotter than July. 21st of June, 2012. Hi. So what's the big news? What's the big news? The big news yesterday, um, which, of course, we didn't break because those fine folks at CBS didn't even bother to send us the press release. I love it. You know, no, I am the top source of media news here in Washington, especially when it comes to radio and television, you know. And I love it when these, um, you know, station groups like Clear Channel or CBS or whomever, they have a big announcement to make about a Washington radio programming change, and they send their press releases out to everybody but me. You know, that tells me something. That tells me that they fear me. <laughs> so yesterday afternoon, I'm reading, people are sending me emails, hey, uh, L Access, Radio Info, all, all of these other websites have this uh, press release. You know, they just printed the press release from CBS that this guy named uh, Blaine, um, Blaine, Blaine, the, ho the Blaine Motel, the Blaine Pablo Sato, Sat Sat Sato, I guess that's how you pronounce it, is the new morning show host at CBS's WPGC. Okay, so of course we got it up 20 seconds later, you know. It just is funny that they don't send me the press release, because I guess they're mad at me for something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, he comes from a, a station in San Diego, Tijuana Market, uh, XHTZ, and he's been working at Urban Stations. Um, you know... Here's what I'm thinking. This guy, it, it sounds like a you know Hispanic Mexican guy who's doing urban radio, which is all well and good. Hey, big multicultural mix. We love that. I love that. But here's my idea. Here's what I was thinking. CBS, again, I think. Well, let me get let me get some of my Java juice here. Mm. Mm. Good. Here's what I think. This brainstorm just came to me moments ago. Why doesn't CBS take Elzal and take PGC and merge them together and make one big urban, Hispanic, black, white mix, you know, make out a big mix station of all the cool sounds from both the urban side and the Hispanic side. Mix it all up. You know, you got a lot of crossover artists like Pitbull, you know, who are played on the Hispanic stations. Spanish stations, and they're played on urban stations. You've got a whole bunch of artists like that. So let's really do a kick-ass, multi-ethnic, urban, Hispanic format on PGC. Okay? Just, re you know, reinvent the station. Have this guy, Pablo, in the Pablo Sato in the morning. Maybe bring Biagi over for a shift from, from El Zal. Mix up the stations. Make it one big, giant station. And that would be kind of a unique station in this market because... Hot 99 to 5 could then be the contemporary hit suburban East station, and and KISS could be, KYS could be the official urban format station, and PGC could take this Elzal mix, mix it all up on 95.5 and give us this really cool multi-ethnic sound, mix it all in there, Hispanic, uh, urban, dance, um, the whole thing, uh, classic soul even, mix it all up, and put it all up in there. And then... You know, then that would free up 107.9. If, if CBS m merged together these frequencies and then, you know, merged together PGC and El Zal as one big crazy station, I think the ratings would be really good. It could even be a top five station if it's done and marketed right. Then you take 107.9 and put HFS back there. But not the HFS from the early 2000s, but the HFS from... Um, you know, the progressive rock days, a really cool progressive rock HFS on 107.9, okay? That would cover Baltimore and Washington. Uh, you know, hey, I'd love to get HFS back, you know? And I think this would be a really good way to do it. And it would also be beneficial to CBS for for merging the two, Elzal and PGC, which I think was the time to do it. So let's... Take a look at my great idea. Somebody keeps calling me on my phone. Uh, it's probably Steve Swenson over there or Jason Kidd saying, no, Dave, no, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. But anyhow, <laughs> I think that's a cool idea. 
So anyhow, uh, blame Pablo Sato to do the mornings now. Of course, T PGC has been without a morning show host. Basically, they've been having Free in there doing it, but she's not the official morning show. She's just kind of been the fill-in, basically, since they let uh, Big Tigger go back in December. And, of course, Donnie Simpson, the great Donnie Simpson, used to be on PGC, but he left. When did he leave? Twenty left two and a half years ago, something like that. So anyhow, PGC uh, needs uh, needs to be reinvented, and I think merging it with El Zal, mixing it all up, making this grand urban ethnic multicultural format is the way to go. Freeing up 1079, bring us back our HFS, but a cool HFS, not like the HFS was in you know 2004 2005. So there, that's what I think. And Steve Swenson. Pay attention. Listen to me now. Good idea, huh? Another good idea for me, huh? <laughs> You'll probably never do it, but <laughs> it's a great idea. Okay, keeping it short. Six-minute mark. DCRTV.com, 21st June. So there.